Good morning on the first day of a new Methodist year. I hope that you can see behind me sunflower that we've been uh, trying to grow over the last uh, few months. Uh, the original had shown some promise but as you see is not now looking ever so healthy. But there's new possibilities to nourish. New uh, possibilities uh, around that I hadn't expected at all. Um, I hope that we can hold that picture as we proceed through our reflections this morning. Of course a sunflower only grows if a seed from an old sunflower dies and is buried. And I think that's coming through in our reading today. Yesterday we started our readings from the first letter of Peter to the early Christians who'd been scattered by persecution across what we now call the country of Turkey. And this is how it started. Praise to the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. In his great mercy he has given us new birth into a living hope through the resurrection of Jesus Christ from the dead. New birth new start, a very appropriate uh, reading for the start of a new Methodist year and the start of a new academic year. Uh, for some of you the start of public worship again in your chapels. For all of us the start of weekly circuit Zoom worship being pioneered this Sunday at six o'clock. A new academic year of course means new teacher, student or teacher pupil relationships which comes with all kinds of trepidation but just needs working through. Join me today in praying for those new starts. A new Methodist year means that some ministers are starting in a new circuit which comes with all kinds of trepidation but just needs working through. Join me today in praying for those new starts. Both situations are made more anxious, of course, because of the COVID restrictions, which many of us are still working out and trying to apply to our own situations. We personally haven't hugged our two children for six months now. And it, it's really difficult to see other families posing for photos with mates or otherwise ignoring the safety protocols. There's still much to be worked through before we can be free to do what we want. The first day of a new Methodist year reminds me of Monday the 1st of September 1986 when I started in circuit ministry. In my diary for that day the very first thing it says is nine o'clock funeral. <laughs> the late Alice Knight, um, the first of over 1400 funerals that I've had the privilege of leading over the last 34 years. It was my big new start and it started with death but also with the proclamation of the gospel of resurrection. And in today's reading, which continues in 1 Peter, we challenge straight away at verse 13, therefore prepare your minds for action. I've thought long and hard about this verse. It doesn't say prepare your hearts for action or your will for action. It's not, in other words, a matter of courage or endurance, but a mindset. It's a choice, a decision about what sort of a life we're going to live. And the choice is laid out starkly. It's about action not sitting still. It's about getting involved, not sitting on the sidelines. It, it's about self-control, not willfulness. It's about obedience, not asserting our rights. It's about dying to the past so we can have new life. So as we embark today on a new year, a fresh start, what's your mindset? Are you just hankering after the old stuff that's now gone or are you really honestly wanting to embrace new possibilities if we needed even more of a nudge 
the passage today concludes with a further reference in verse 23 that we've been born again. A new year, a new start. Let's make it new and proclaim the gospel of resurrection, not mere resuscitation. Let's do it together. God bless.